just that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got it. Bye. Here I have two DC and two AC CDIs. One of which is working and others burned. Now I want to show you how to test a CDI using multimeter. Before anything, you need to know the type of CDIs and its pinouts. I personally made a complete video about this. I put the link in description. If you need it, you can see. Thanks. After understood the CDI's type and its pinout, you can test a CDI using the these two methods. Method one, testing the internal diode. For this, we need to set the multimeter on diode mode, the buzzer. In this mode, uh, it also show resistance value. This is a negative pin, and also this pin. This is AC power kill switch, ignition coil, and pickup trigger. To test the AC CDIs, one prop to negative and other to the AC source. No function. If no value appears, switch the prop. If you see a resistance value, the CD is functional. But if it show zero or continuous beep, the CD is defective. Like that. This CD is good. This is a burnt out CD. Look. Negative. Continue beep. Switch the prop. Continue pip. Zero. This CDI is burned out. The next item you need to check it is a main power pin and the kill switch pin. It should uh, show resistance from one side. Look. No function. Switch the prop. We have a resistance value here. Note that this connection should be one way. This CD is completely healthy and functional. In AC CDI's negative pin this pin or this pin also connect to the kill switch pin it shows a uh, resistance value from one side only one side look this is a negative and this is a kill switch no function Switch the prop and check again. Negative kill switch. We have a resistance value. You can see this is a custom CDI that I built myself. It has a two separate output for trigger and adjustment. You can watch the full video and its test on channel. The same applies to my handmade CDIs as well. Look, it must allow the AC source and negative from one side. Switch to pro.
That's it. In TC CDI is a little different. In TC CDI, the connection between negative and main power input is two way. Look. Switch the prop. We have a difference value. It may be the bigger resistance. I set the Tony Mega on and check again. As you can see, we have a resistance value here. 457 mega switch to prop that's it also the negative pin and pickup pins show a resistance value look set it in diet mode the buzzer and check it we have resistance value. Switch the prop. The connection is two way. If there is a continuous beep or it shows zero number, this CDI is defective. Like this faulty CDI. Look, negative and power source no function switch to prop negative power source no function this is faulty so that was first method which could be done using a multimeter the second method is more accurate. Thank you for staying with me up to this point. If you found this video helpful, give it like and leave your comment. Thanks. The second method is testing the CDI output voltage. I start with DC CDI. Set the multimeter on. 1000 volt DC voltage and take a 12 volt battery. I use a 3 lithium battery in 3. Negative of the CDI and battery with the negative of the multimeter. Connect together. The positive of the multimeter go to the Ignition coil output of CDI. Now, when we connect battery positive to the CDI positive, we should see instant voltage here between 50 200 volt in DC voltage. Let's see. As you can see, this CDI is functional and healthy. Let's check the faulty CDI. Well, this is a connected battery and we're gonna check the coil output. We have a number here, it's very low, set to 200, as you can see the voltage is very low, 
if the output voltage is zero or very low, the CD is probably faulty. But to be completely sure, you can connect the a coil and pickup to it and test for the spark. If you don't know how to do that, I've already made a complete video about it. The link in description, you can check it out. Let's move on to AC CDI. This type of CDI is powered by alternative current. I'm using my usual method, a simulation method. In this method, I'm using a drill to spin the flywheel on an AC stator to generating the alternative current from the stator, this AC coil, which I then fit into the CDI to charge it and so I can measure its output. Just like that. First, we need to fix the stator on the board and connect the CDI to it. The negative of CDI go to the negative of the stator and AC power go to the AC coil in a stator. That's it. Now we can measure the ignition coil output when the spin flywheel on a stator with the drain. Set the multimeter on AC voltage 200. Negative prop to the negative. And positive prop go to the ignition coil output. This way. As you saw, this CDI gave an output voltage 80 volt at around. 3000 rpm so it's completely fine i'm going to test this faulty cdi if the output voltage is zero or very low you must replace the cdi let's see reached the end of this video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for staying with me until the end. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. If you know better methods, feel free to share them in the comments. New videos are on the way, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video is released. Until the next tutorial, goodbye.